Hello, this is Bob Pellowin, CTO Bob, and today I've got a, something a little softer. Instead of just giving you specs on the latest laptop that we tried out, I'm going to give you more of how I feel about it after having used it for over a week. This was uh, courtesy of Lenovo Canada and DNH Canada, so I appreciate the uh, loaner to test it out. Let's dive into it. The plus means there's a screen on the outside and a screen on the inside, which we'll take a look at in a moment. So obviously apart from the strange external picture that you see here uh, overall it's a good construction it's uh, aluminum it's uh, even the back is uh, appears to be metal to me pretty much is metal it's got a great keyboard it has an HDMI output so you can plug it to a television or something else if you want to have uh, carry it with you on the road for example and play movies uh, at the hotel it's got you USB-C so it's pretty modern. In fact, it charges. I don't have the charger right with me, but it does charge with uh, the USB-C. So that's nice since it's uh, pretty universal now. And the other side has normal USB ports. The on button is actually interesting because it recognizes fingerprints. So it is the fingerprint reader is built into the button. That's a nice feature. It's uh, a little on the heavy side but I mean it's you know quite compact it's a 13.3 inch display on the side that you're used to so when you do open it up and it's got its backlit keyboard I really do like the Lenovo keyboards in general uh, they're nice and I like to call them mushy but they're they've got a bit of a spring to them which I appreciate as you know I, I tend to write novels and stuff so I do a lot of writing so this is a better screen than some of the other devices I've seen from Lenovo. This is obviously a higher end and as such you're getting more brightness, you're getting better colors. Uh, I like the screen, I think it's great. The overall, because it is using an i7 and it's the 10th generation, in this particular case it's a uh, 10510U that's in here. And being an i7 it is the higher end, it's the latest generation. It has more speed, it has, you can really tell. The other thing too is it does, this unit has 16 gigs of memory. So all of those of you out there who've told me uh, that I've reviewed things with four gigs, uh, and I keep in the comments as you may have noticed, I do mention that I always recommend eight gigs or more. This one is 16. So again, they give you more RAM. That's the help with if you're opening up a lot of applications, you're doing a lot of web browsing and using Office and using other things. Um, some of the other comments and questions that I get asked, in fact, we have released the video on this one, and I've got emails saying, well, can I play this video game? Can I do this? Can I do that? Uh, these are, even though it's got a screen for reading and so forth, uh, my feeling is these are more of business product so you don't have a GPU really in there that will uh, take you to that level of gaming if that's what you want. You want to be on the road and you want to play something that's very intense. Uh, uh, latest games, uh, whether it's uh, in Battlefield and so forth. This is probably not the laptop you want. You'd want a gaming laptop. But if you want a very versatile, well-built laptop, something like this is where you want to aim. So this is, uh, is something that will be sturdy. Like I said, there's a lot of metal in the construction. There's the, obviously, the less plastic you have, the less likely you are to have things like hinges break uh, or have damage. I, I don't recommend dropping any laptop, no matter what it's made of, uh, but obviously it has a little bit more durability the stronger the casing is. Uh, that is not to say that you will not have you know potentially failure because most laptops um, if you use this in very hot weather you're outside in the sun uh, you could potentially damage things like the cpu uh, and other components in here if they overheat overall the battery has been great um, i'm not going to give you speeds and feeds in the sense that uh, i didn't sit there and time it to see how many movies I could play or that sort of thing. Well, it's actually I'm at 53% right now and it's telling me I've got 3 hours and 42 minutes left. However, uh, when you're using it, for example, if you're using the secondary screen to read, then you'll notice that it's telling you you've got something like 20 hours and it's all always depends on 
what you do with the laptop. If you're going to go and try to play games on this, I mean, it will play lower settings and so forth. You probably get away with uh, some gameplay, depending on what you're running. But you will find that, of course, the battery will uh, consume a lot. One of, the, one of the things that I did run is something called Crystal Disk Mark. What I found is, since it is an NVMe or an M.2 drive, it is very fast. It's much faster than an SSD drive. Again, uh, in this case, we're talking five to six times faster if you're talking about sequential reads or sequential writes. And if you want to help us out, we're really looking to add subscribers to our channel. That really helps us. So that's a great way to show us you appreciate it. And we'll try to get some more laptops and some more equipment from the manufacturers and keep making videos. Now, apart from running the, the usual gamut, it does come with a few things that they do put on there. Uh, the Lenovo, uh, they've got a little application here called Advantage, and what it does is it will go out and seek updates. So if you have things like BIOS updates, if you have driver updates, it will find those, come back and install them for you. It actually suggests and you have to select them, click on OK. So right now it's doing a search. That's nice. I always recommend periodically going and making sure that your machine is up to date. So it is one way of making sure that everything works well continually. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. And by that, I mean the screen that is connected in the back here. It will read things like EPUB, PDFs. Uh, I got quite a few comments and a few emails asking me, what can I put on here? Can I use this to browse? Uh, no. So what this will do is basically allow you to go and uh, read eBooks. In that case, that's my latest book. It's not quite out yet. Um, you could draw, you can, so there are some things you can do. It's the equivalent of uh, something like, a, I believe it's called a Kindle by, uh, by Amazon. So it is great in the sun. So for those of you who enjoy reading or enjoy uh, writing notes and so forth in the bright sunlight, this is great. I got to sit down by the lake and I was able to uh, read the, uh, from what I was reading, I think it was uh, Jim Rickards, uh, one of his books. So that's, um, that's one way to do it. And it, I imagine if you're in a plane or, or somewhere traveling, this is great because you can bring your collection of books. And the way this works is you will go and place your EPUBs, your PDFs, whatever it is that you want to bring with you. Uh, you can put them into your documents directory on the machine or on the desktop. And then when you go into the ebook, basically what it will do is it will ask you the location and you simply select where it is. So in my case, I've got a few here, so I say browse, and I can, it, I'm in recent right now, but I can go and select what I want to read, and it finds them, but they're on the unit. So that's how you simply copy them over. Uh, again, if you're using something like a Dropbox or something else, uh, you could go and open them from there, as there is a local copy at that point. Uh, I'll be very honest, it's, it's great in the sun. I enjoy it as is. It's a little slow. I've had uh, quite a few people uh, play around with the whole unit. Uh, overall, the speed is great. The keyboard's fine. The, the trackpad was okay. Everybody liked it. Uh, I, I've had a few comments of when you go from page to page in one of these books, it is a little slow. And so if I want to go to page two or page three, you click on it. I mean, it's one, two, you know, so it'll take a second or two to switch. And of course you can decide if you want this landscape portrait, you can lock it. And um, it, it just seems to be a little unresponsive when you switch pages. That just seems, I'm not sure why. The drawing part of it doesn't have that. So if you're making notes, for example, if you're in a class and you want to take notes, that responded quite well. Once you had that open, you can go ahead and do that. And um, like I said, it, it's pretty nice. The biggest concern we had, to be frank, was we thought this might get scratched easily since you have a screen now on the outside. Uh, fingerprints are not too bad in the back. It's uh, reasonable. It's not as bad as some of their other models. I mean, I actually see a big fingerprint right here. But uh, they do give you 
this nice little carrying case and as you were able to see earlier if you put a pen magnetic pen right on it it fits right in there with the pen how far back does the screen go well keep in mind because there are two screens it's really not one of these I, I I know they have other models where you can bring the screen completely back this one locks so when it's uh it's pretty flat there that's as far back as it goes if there's uh any other comments or any questions you have on this unit I will be more than happy to answer them in the comments below so I hope you enjoyed this review and uh, thank you very much for watching